There's no time. We can only take the most value. We're taking everything. Adrian, sacrifices must be made. I will not sacrifice our past to fear. Oh there. Who are you? Baronor, this is the ranger I was telling you about. You've spilled much blood for me to see through. We don't even know your name. Talion. Gondor thanks you, Talion. But we need all warriors at the gate. Well, the Uruks seek the Palantir, and they will not stop until it is theirs. Where is it? My father has hidden it. There's nothing safe, hidden or otherwise. The Uruks will tear this city apart to find it. These are desperate times. But we will not surrender, and we will not fall. We cannot. Then we must obtain the Palantir. It is the only way. The city can take much more. I'll handle the siege beasts. Baronor and I can manage here. Talia, we must commandeer one of the siege beasts. Well, this should prove interesting. Beast is in range. Destroy it. Siege beast for the enemy. Pity we can't take it with us. It's a formidable weapon. We must move quickly. This should help. If 
Venus Ethel falls, then it will only be a matter of time till they find the Palantir. I was thinking of Gondor. These hordes are endless. Sauron's armies have grown massively. A conventional victory against him will not be possible. We must secure the Palantir. Another attack will surely follow. We should return to the upper city, check on Idril and the others. It's not enough for them to destroy us. They wish to wipe away our history. At least they don't have the seeing stone. The gates are holding. These relics were my life. My father was right. We must salvage what we can and leave. You have a valuable weapon. The seeing stone gives you sight over your enemy. Use it. It is too dangerous. The Palantir is poison to men. None can withstand its influence. I can. Men before you have thought the same. And if I'm wrong, I will fail as they have failed. But if I'm right, we win this war. Then I will find my father. Speak to him. She will hold you to your oath, Ranger. You put a lot of trust in her. Give her time. Until then, we should return to Shilob. I need more answers. What is going on, guys? My name is Warners Prime, and welcome back to another Middle Earth Shadow of War video. Um, today, as you already saw, we're doing some story missions, and now I guess we're heading to Shilob, which is pretty nice. We did 33% of the Gondor quests. Now, I guess we're doing. Um, some Sheila quests, and uh, as I'm sure, we're doing all of her quests in Kirithongol, not on this episode specifically, but in Kirithongol, in this part, in the first um, act, you do complete all of Sheila's quests, and then if you wanted anything to, uh, to do with Sheila after that, you'd have to go hunt her memories, which is in all the regions in total. So that's actually pretty cool. I decided to let you guys watch the cutscene and watch me play uh, without me talking, just to start the episode off pretty good, first 10 minutes. Um, and yeah. So if you guys have uh, seen 
Yeah, so if these episodes are a little funky sometimes, like something's messed up, the video's glitching out, or the voices aren't matched, yeah, just remember, I'm trying my best. And just remember, you can also skip ahead, too. And if you like me watching me fail, that's you, not me. It's a nice view. Wait, I don't have photo mode unlocked. Or not unlocked, enabled. If you guys saw the beginning of the episode, I did upgrade my knife from last episode. I just stabbed some guy on the way to the mission, and I got it. Ooh. I'll kill you. No, it runs. Especially towards a great walker. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh-oh. Graug. Now I know what he was running from. We're not gonna kill it. I don't know what, think of, I don't know if we know how. Let's do, let's unlock this hider tower though. That's important. That's what I uh, care about right now. So now that we're in Kirithongal, we need to try to uh, collect every, uh, most things in it at least, because I know I'm going to come back to this region when I want to take the fort and the fort assault, and we need to um, co basically complete it. Okay. A drawing artifact. Filled in. A drawing artifact. And, ooh, another one. Barrows, and we're still missing one more thing, and it's over here. They filled it. Okay. So let's unlock our skill. So we're gonna go for abrasive daggers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go from like obviously as you've seen, we did these three skills last episode, and then um, we're, next time we get another point, we're going for Caragor Rider, and then we'll come back up here for critical strike then. Lies and I think what we'll end up doing is we'll probably end up getting at least two more skill points or and if we unlock all the hydro towers that will be we'll probably another one. Let's get this a Thilden real quick and if you don't know what a Thilden is, a Thilden is basically one of the uh, collectibles. It's a word, an elvish word and when you get the word you basically in the barrows are able to, uh, it says here, find only a Thilden in the region and return to the Thilden door to restore the poem. Restoring the poem will, podem, Poem will open the Athilden door and grant legendary gear, which is Calibre Moore's gear. Who's that? Uh oh, he's a tracker. He's he's coming this way. Run! Uh oh, ghouls. That's not something I can walk off. Oh, for... yes, I know what ghouls are. I played Mordor. Now I'm poisoned. For it. Good thing there's no Ologs nearby. That's the right Let's check the map. Okay, here's our mission. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to go here and uh, up there eventually to unlock those. Ooh! I'll take that in. No, I'll, I said I'll take that intel. There we go. Well, yeah, we don't. We have a lot. We don't know how to do this yet. Apparently. So, as usual, pick the first one here. Bugo the Gambler. He's an assassin, he's a marauder. It's pretty nice. I guess they're characters we we like and we um very much like that have interesting traits and stuff. And we, it's like it's it's like if we bumped into a legendary orc and we love his traits, but we don't have the branding ability. But we want to brand him oh, so bad. 
What would you do in that? Would you just kill him for his legendary gear? Or would you wait and hope some orc doesn't kill him and then take his stuff? Depending on the, the tribe, I guess it would depend on the legendary gear, because you can look up the legendary gear for that tribe on the uh, in the game's... Um, I think... Uh, options menu. In the menu, you could pick it up. Once I can get to it, I can pull it. Like in the guide. The guide, you could pick it up and stuff, and you could see it. And I guess it would really just depend on what tribe, because then you know what legendary gear it was coming Worthy from. of a king. Ah, but your people have spurned their kings, have they not? Okay. Knife in the dark. I'll shut up now. The Olog High War Trolls. Let's do this, boys. took one hit and then collapse Just a troll. They are Olog High, war trolls. They're smarter, faster, and immune to sunlight. Sauron's forces are more powerful than ever. We hate them as much as we hate nasty orcs. We keep our distance so we don't get squished and crushed into bits. Like how you tried to crush my head with a rock the last time I saw you. <sighs> But we didn't. We could never hurt the Bright Lord. We make up for it now. Get close, Bright Master. We're very close. I know why you are here. Return what you have stolen. Silence, Ringmaker. You forget yourself. Stolen. You beg me to have it. And what have you to me? I'm here for me, this evil. You seek to save it. Even though it may already be lost. There must be a way. There is truth. In your vision. Grant me another. To what end? For knowledge. To dominate? Oh, you don't have to tell me. Here is your truth. <sighs> you want to move up the ranks. You go to kill. 
didn't get noticed. Killer pink skin. The bigger the target, the higher he rise. Idril. She dies. Many will pass before Sauron is defeated. This knowledge can guide our hand. If we kill this assassin, perhaps this future will not come to pass. She can be saved. She will live or die with honor, and it will not shift the tide of war. Guess Castamir must be protected. If he falls victim to this assassin, we will lose the Palantir. You found him precious? For the Bright Lord. We go to kill it and open. Yes, we'll find the nasty assassin. <laughs> Assassin must be stopped. Gollum, you know where to find him? Yes, we recognized his curved blade. A Morgul blade? Yes, stab, stab, stabbing all the war chief's bodyguards. If we find the Uruk bodyguards he's targeting, we'll find the assassin. The first one is near. This way. <laughs> You said you recognize the assassin's curved blade. So you can see Shelob's visions. One of the bodyguards was near. <laughs> this isn't listen. Are you sure of it? It's only a Morgul blade could have caused these wounds. We're on the right track. He's been dead for some time. We'll need to move faster if we want to catch up with the assassin. Yes. We know where another bodyguard is. As the assassin kills his way up the hierarchy, he'll continue to seek bigger targets. Like Castamir. Yes. Castamir is the only one who knows where the Palantir is. He must be kept alive at all costs. We know the nasty orc is here. But we forget where exactly. We are close. You can find it. At this point, we're probably going to end up be collecting these freaking relics. The Easterlings, stranger even than the Herodrim of the South, are just as vulnerable to entreaties from Sauron. You know, the, when I look at Lord of the Rings stuff, I've never seen anything about the Easterlings or the Herodrim. The Easterlings, a little bit because of the movies. Um, and some lore. You know, we are getting some YouTubers that talk about it and stuff. But the Herodrim, that was like new to me. Like, I haven't heard of them. Right. I found another Uruk. He hasn't been dead long. We're getting closer. Closer and closer. We will take you to where the next one is. Stupid orcs has never seen Gollum. We speak around, and we hear so many things. Everyone 
never should have told you that. Stay here, the lover victim. Yet this one still lives. Let's find out what he knows. <laughs> Push Crip, the assassin. Dang it, wrong person. I follow through my orders. So if you're here to stop me, you'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Change which she loves so often, Miasifil. Miasifil will go the way of all flesh. We only need the seeing star. How much of your soul was lost in that ring? The dark mistress will be pleased. Drilling customers should be safe for now. But the siege of Minas Ethel continues. The plant here is. Got it itself a new cape. Falling into enemy hands. We are behind enemy lines. This is a perfect opportunity to sow chaos within Sauron's ranks. The assassin had one more target on his list. We should finish what we started and kill the war chief's final bodyguard. Okay, so. That is it for today's episode. If you guys would like to watch more, then please subscribe and be ready. Peace out.